This is Coogan Cassis Rifle TV in association with MTK Global. We're in Manchester here. I'm joined by Ellesmere Port's very own Mason Cartwright. How are you, sir? How you doing? Good, All yeah. good? Yeah, good. Um, you got your, your rematch on April the 8th. Yeah. It's Justin Menzies. Made off, made off. Yeah, just explain to people that don't know what actually happened in the original fight. Uh, we boxed uh, a couple of months back up in London and uh, we clashed heads in the second round, so obviously they couldn't make a decision on the fight, so it had to be ruled a technical draw. Yeah. But it was a fight I was easily winning. I had him troubled a couple of times, to be honest, in the first round, and I feel I hold the power to maybe even stop him, if not definitely win. So These things happen in boxing, not very often, but you do get these uh, freak occurrences that happen where, you know, it, Yeah, you're left. just, it, it bloody killed me for a bit, like, trying to get over it, seeing the draw on my record, because I know it's not a proper draw, but it's there, it's, it's a blemish on the record, isn't it? And although I'm still unbeaten, it's, it, it's a horrible thing to see, to see that one there. And yeah. I, so for me to go and avenge that and to say I went on and beat the kid who, that, who put that blemish there, then it's, it's seizure for myself, it's closure. So. Well, like, you've got a chance to put it right in your, in your it, eyes. So. And on a bigger bill as well. A lot of people to see, so I want to put on a show and show what I'm bringing. Because I think there's a lot of people that are above me in the box in the boxing rankings that I, I could definitely beat now. Never mind, give me a couple more. Years. I know there's a couple of names in your red that's ticking around. You might not want to mention them, but I'm not going to mention any. Fair but uh, definitely there is some. And uh, as like I say, I'm confident. I work hard in the gym, uh, and I'll I'll get me rewards eventually. I'll see my name up in them lights. Definitely. Work, work too hard not to. Obviously, as it was mentioned in that press conference there, we all know that Paul Butler, also from uh, Ellesmere Port, and someone yeah. you know very well as well. Yeah, yeah, we've been mates our whole lives. Like, trained as amateurs, both uh, turned professional of Anthony Farnell, uh, both since left now, but still, he comes up to my gym doing his strength conditioning, no limits in Liverpool. Uh, great gym, uh, very technical, a lot of sports science behind it, so... Obviously, it's, it's moving forward in the right direction. All right, well, listen, Mason, best of luck uh, in the rest of your camp ahead of April the 8th, and I'm sure we'll catch up with you uh, nearer that time. Yeah, so, definitely, yeah. Yeah, keep doing your thing, and uh, yeah, see how it pans out on the 8th. Thanks, Ron. All right, Coombe yeah. Cassis, Mason Cartwright, IFL TV. Thank you very much.